Hey guys, JD sent me this lock, which uh, was locked when I received it. This is a Alta Monte Riki, and I had never seen one before. And uh, I had to pick this one open. Anyway, uh, pretty hefty, well machined lock. Um, I don't know what else to tell you about it. It's uh, not shimble, there are ball bearings inside of it, got a steel hasp, and it is rekeyable. And I picked this one because it was locked when I got it, but I wanted to figure out how to rekey it. This is really not about picking. So how do you rekey these? Well, if you look closely at the uh, uh, keyway or at the plug, you'll notice a small notch right here. Now if you open this with a key, I've set it in the position. This is as far as you can turn this and it's key retaining so your key is going to be stuck and it won't go any further. This notch will be oriented kind of in this angle, up, up like this. If we, when we want to rekey it, we have to take that notch and put it at exactly 12 o'clock because this is where the upper pins are, up in this part of the body, and we have to align that notch with those. So the way that we can do that, we can pick it and then we can just rotate it, see if we can get that to come around, and you'll feel it click in place and it will lock into the upper position. It will not turn there un unless you modify your key. And while a normal key would look like this, in fact this is the key that I've made for this lock, you need to cut off a portion, the front portion of the key, because inside there's a small retaining bar that keeps the key from turning too far. And it's located right here. And If you simply grind off the key, you'll bypass that little notch. Anyway, you pick it and you rotate it to this point. You can't use your key because these are key retaining. It has to be picked or you have to modify your key. Once you get it to that position, you're going to need to have, make yourself a little tool like this. I made this out of music wire, just large enough to fit into this hole. And so we slide it into the hole, and you can feel it rubbing against all of the pins as you shove it in. And in the back of the lock, there's a small hole, and you'll feel the music wire kind of fit into that. Now here's a tip. I learned this the hard way. When you get it all the way in, it's holding those upper pins in place. It's wedging them in place. Take yourself a piece of tape, put it across the top of there to hold that little bar in place. To keep your, because if you jostle this, all of those pins are going to come out and then you have a friggin' nightmare on your hands, trust me. And then, take yourself a pick, shove it into the keyhole, and then you can start to pull your core out. And you see mine starting to come out there. Hold this pin in place with your finger and just start pulling that core. Come on out of there, dude. There we go. Mine's starting to come out. You can see it. I am not going to pull it out because I don't want to go through that nightmare again. But I'll leave that for now. When you pull it out, uh, you'll have a core. This is an American core. It looks almost identical to this, except instead of six pin holes, you got five. Okay, so all you need to do is then either impression your key, put your key in and impression it, or just rekey it to another pre-cut key. Once you got it set, Get to, get to pick up your lock, line up the groove again, and slide it back into place. That's the easy way. If you have make a mistake, or if you're going through this steep learning curve like I did, you pull the core out and you jostle this wire, all five of those pins will pop out, and then you're going to need to manufacture another tool that looks like this. I made this out of windshield wiper insert and you'll simply put that in and you'll pl put the pins back in place and you'll feed it in one at a time until they're all held in place and then of course you can't put your plug back in with the windshield wiper insert then you have to gently take the wire and push the windshield wiper out of your way replace the windshield wiper holding the pins with this wire and then tape it but if you tape it like I, from the very beginning you won't be facing any of that. But still, I'm not willing to do it again. <laughs> it's a nightmare. Oh, my God. Anyway, that's how you do it. And then, of course, once you've got it rekeyed, put your hasp back in, rotate your key, take off your tape, pull out your wire. Oh, fuck! Well, there you go. That's what you got, guys. <laughs> that was not part of the plan, but... Uh, Looks like Bill's going to live through this nightmare again. Okay, um, don't take off your tape, God damn it. Well, let's try to salvage this, I suppose. Okay, well, you can see all the pins come out, the ball bearings come out, everything comes out. Ideally, you'll 
This is so disheartening. Now I have to go through two hours again and put this all back together. Feed your pins in there one at a time and this little windshield wiper will then hold everything in place. Take your wire, then shove it along the side and then rotate it around to hold all those pins in place. Remove the windshield wiper and then very carefully slide your plug back in and there you go. This was not part of the plan, but I guess it worked out. You got to see exactly what I'm talking about and exactly what you're going to have to go through because now the hard part, of course, is balancing all those little pins and getting them in the right place. All right, well, there you go. Uh, it wasn't the way I planned this video to go, but uh, I think you now know how to rekey your, your Almont rekey lock. Thanks for your time. Everybody stay safe and stay legal. And I'll be working on this for the next couple hours. All right, back again. All right, it wasn't as bad as I thought. Uh, it only took about 15 minutes, surprisingly, so that's proof that you learn from your mistakes. So first time took two hours, second time 15 minutes. Next time I'll be doing this in like 12 seconds. But anyway, JD, thank you very much for the lock. I learned a lot. Uh, I'm going to give you, send this back to you. There's your key. Works perfectly. And it is key retaining, so it's a good lock. Uh, good luck with it. Thank you very much. Bye.